Some primitive cultural practices in the Ma community like Kajado County have had adverse effects among young girls, leaving them with lifetime scars in addition to being suppressed from achieving key personal development goals like education that has for a time been forsaken due to high level of illiteracy among community members. Sensitization efforts by different education stakeholders including non-governmental organizations are however helping spread the gospel of empowerment through education in this small community to curtail retrogressive cultural practices. The move has since given a sigh of relief to many girls in the area who now have a glimpse of bright future through access to education which is a right to every Kenyan child. One of the greatest achievement was the anti-FGM policy for Kajado County that was established in the year 2021-2020. It has really, you know, escalated the campaign because there are structures, committees, right from the village level to the county level, fighting the same practice. Mzazi pia anafaa kuajibika ama kuchukuliwa hatua kwa sababu msasi dia yako na ile jukumu kubwa ya kuhakikisha mtoto wako sawa Olgenyoke Girls Secondary School in Kajado West was established in 2017 and in 2020 had its first lot of KCSE candidates sitting for the national exam Its seven years of existence here has since been a beacon to many girls in the area since besides offering education to girls the day and boarding learning institution also protects them from child marriages as they spend most of their time in school and although some are already victims of teen pregnancies the enrollment here is a renewed hope and a second chance in life for them the day was received here I had a lot of hopes and my strength was renewed. I started having hopes that yeah, I'm going to chase the, this dream. I've got a second chance. This school therefore serves as a rescue center for those girls who are threatened by harmful cultural practices. Out of the 172 girls that I have, I have a few who are teen mothers. Some of them in the course of uh, being here They got babies, but that did not uh, make us uh, condemn them. Grace Rehema is an alumni of Olonyoke Secondary School. She completed her Form 4 education in the year 2020. Her story of triumph to complete her education is an inspiration to many girls in the area as she had to drop school for two years due to pregnancy before bouncing back. As a 17-year-old teen mom, Grace could not withstand the stigma in her previous school in Kajado Central, so she opted to transfer to Oldonyoke and join Form 3. This is after one of her close friends convinced her not to get married but instead continue with school. The problem now came in because I don't have school fees and you know you must pay for you to, to continue studying. So I've been sent home several several times been out in the school because of school fees but I still struggle until I finished when we release them out there the situation has not changed the same cultural practices that we were talking about are waiting for them and they end up getting where they were So let us ensure that we uh, we encourage them to pursue education so that uh, the future that girls want can be realized. According to education stakeholders, seasons of prolonged drought are a big factor in child marriages in Kajado County with parents and guardians getting their daughters married in exchange for money and cattle for survival. Poverty and lack of school fees among struggling parents also contributes to teen pregnancies as young girls remain idle at home making them vulnerable to sexual advances. However, some parents are yet to embrace education and therefore see no value in investing their money in school fees. Obviously I knew because now I'm pregnant. What came to my mind is being married off. That's our culture. Masai I've uh, been thinking I'll be married off. My hopes are gone. My dream are shattered. So I had no hopes of maybe going forward to chase that dream.
we know that from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, many girls in Kajiado are not transitioning either to either to form one or even to uh, to higher education after uh, after high school. Some of the challenges that is plaguing uh, the children and the girls of this county is uh, female genital mutilation and cutting. Uh, we also have uh, teenage pregnancies. The numbers are still high, and we have young children that are being forced to uh, to marriage uh, through child marriage at very early age. So, as an organisation, is to ensure that we continue with the sensitisation. So, like you can see from the event today, is that we are working through dialogues, intergenerational dialogues. We work in 21 uh, schools where our girls engage as peers to ensure they have conversation around sexual and reproductive health, their rights and uh, all of us working together to end this menace uh, around FGM, teenage pregnancy uh, and child marriage. To protect and safeguard the girl child from vices like child marriage and female genital mutilation, community awareness forums are held with community elders and leaders on board. On this day, for instance, sensitization sessions under the Break Free program by Plan International are being conducted in this secondary school. It is around 2 p.m. It is very hot here at Oldo Nyoke Secondary School. And right behind me, there are sessions or other forums uh, that are meant to sensitize the community regarding the retrogressive cultural practices. <laughs> In this initiative, girls are also accommodated in different forums where they are taught reproductive health and cautioned on teenage pregnancies and child marriages. I want to mention that we have had huge successes. Number one is that uh, we have had high numbers of young uh, uh, girls, uh, young girls who are dropped over school, uh, being enrolled back to school. We have had high numbers uh, of our young girls who are transitioning from uh, uh, grade uh, class for education to university. Most of them have been able to come here as a testimony of that work we are doing. So, to me, we have a co-co-funsa wase, wa masai, because we have one of them, we have masai, one of them, okay, katani ni ni du kasawa ya wadu tabandu ni yao. Like ni to me, kujo kwa kwa masai sa kwa ba utabandu ni okay katani imi pito mwa kati na ni ni dhuluma kwa 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 ama kwa 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 na wake hii mambo ya FGM sababu kila wote wanaipinga siku hizi inafanyika chini ya maji haifanyiki hadhalani kama zamani siku hizi unaona wakekitaji wengi wamekubali kuacha hiyo kazi lakini bado kuna baki wachache wale wanaendeza hiyo kazi na wanaifanya Sana. Stories of victims like Grace paint a picture of challenges that come with FGM and early marriages, including stigma and a state of hopelessness. Early pregnancy is not good. It's kind of going backward. And out of experience, I can tell them they should be very careful because it brings a lot of bad luck. Waste your time, you affect your mental health. It really affects so many things. For the girls who undergo the FGM in our communities, most of them do not complete school. Most of them run to marriage, teen marriage. They are the victims of teenage pregnancy. Rehema's dream is to become a teacher and an advocate for women's rights. Parents should be in the front line fighting against FGM, they should know that this is a primitive culture and it is not good. And when parents start to fight against FGM, I think that's the easiest way of doing away. The firstborn in a family of six girls is among the few girls who manage to continue with school after getting pregnant or after falling prey to child marriage as majority give up on studies and lose hope of a brighter future and instead remain slaves to the primitive culture. With sensitization forums coming in handy, however, there is hope that the initiatives will be an eye-opener to the society as well as giving a second chance in education to many teenage moms. It's important to note that um, uh, last year we had data from the government that for the last 30 years or so, uh, 
uh, issues around teenage pregnancies, FGM, have been able to reduce from that 8% uh, countrywide to a level of 15%. If you look at the statistic, in the counties whereby FGM is prevalent, then teen, ma teen pregnancy is prevalent and even early marriage is prevalent. So they are somehow related. Nixon Kisaka, K24 TV, Kajado County.